God bless you, everybody. I want to share with you with my experience that I just had uh, visiting a friend, uh, uh, Brother Dan over here. I haven't seen him in a while. I've been trying to get at him in a visit. And um, when I went in to visit him, uh, they told me that there's no visitation allowed. And I said, well, I'm here on a clergy visit. And I showed them my clergy identification. And they said, well, uh, we had one of the residents that tested positive for COVID so that they shut down the entire visitation process and the entire facility over one test. And I said, well, I knew that you would say that. And I actually contacted a lawyer uh, before I came to visit and he had instructed me that it was illegal to deny a clergy visit uh, for any reason. And um, once I said that, they immediately changed their tone and um, they uh, gave uh, Brother Dan uh, catered service and they actually uh, hand fed him, which he said they never did that until uh, I went to go visit him. And so I think what's happening in some of these nursing homes is because they're not getting monitored by the outside community, they're pulling stuff and they're using the COVID as an excuse to not give the proper care that they normally would had they've had outside visitors monitoring what they're doing. They're using COVID as an excuse to get away with a lot of uh, things that they normally should be doing. Um, but it was just interesting how I told them when I contacted a lawyer, but before I came to visit, um, they changed their tone, they changed their attitude, and uh, multiple people who initially denied me, they immediately said, well, you can come in, uh, we'll let you visit. And they, they said to me that they're just doing their job. Usually when someone tells you that they're just doing their job, that's code for saying, I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I'm just following orders. Um, but uh, Brother Dan here, he's a great man of God. He's been my Bible study teacher for uh, over a dozen years, and I think it's proper. Jesus said, if you visit those that are in hospitals or sick, you visited me. So, uh, Brother Dan, you want to share anything? Well, God is my healer. Amen. And God is sufficient. Amen. And uh, Brother Joseph is doing what the Bible says to do. For those that are sick, go visit them. Those that are in prison, go visit them. And uh, God is so good. My God is so good. God is so good, he's so good to me. He answers my prayer, he answers my prayer, he answers my prayer, he's so good to me. Amen. God is so good to us. And you know, uh, thank you, Brother Dan, for sharing that. Um, you know, the other thing that the person said is that they're shutting down all the visitation because one person uh, tested for COVID. Um, it's been proven that these tests are, there's so many problems with these tests that you can't trust them. And I'm not saying none of them have any accuracy, but it's definitely been proven that these tests are not 100% trustworthy. A lot of them give off false readings. We have people that sent in tests and tested a cantaloupe and it came back positive. So we know that there's a lot of foolishness going on. But to use one test and shut down the whole facility and deny all the people rights to vis visitation is really not pleasing to God. And you can't blame per se, just like the lady said, she's just doing her job. You can't really blame her per se. Um, but whoever's uh, orchestrating these policies um, that are denying people their rights to visitation, it's it's crazy. But, but you know, if you're a clergy and you're a pastor, you have a right to stand up to these things. Uh, and I encourage you to do that. God bless you guys. Be blessed in Jesus' name.